Hey, do you have a lot of student debt? For thousands of you, relief is on the way. The Department of Education announcing today a major overhaul in the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. It's said to make it easier for service members and teachers, nurses, and other public workers to qualify for debt relief. The government estimates this will bring more than half a million borrowers closer to loan forgiveness and eliminate about $4 billion in student debt in America. CNBC's personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson is with us now. Sharon, how's this going to work? Well, in this program, Shep, about one quarter of American workers are already employed in public service, and many of them could be eligible for student loan forgiveness. The public service loan forgiveness program began and became law in 2007. It was designed to allow nonprofit and government employees to have their federal student loans canceled after 10 years of public service and after making 120 monthly payments to a qualifying repayment plan. The problem is, many people who thought they qualified and had been paying back their loans for years expected that in a decade that debt would be canceled, but it was not. Once they apply for relief, many borrowers find out they don't qualify, usually because of a technical reason. Maybe it's the type of federal loans they have or the repayment plan they're enrolled in. But now that has changed. Today, the U.S. Department of Education announced that there will be a limited waiver so that borrowers can count payments from all federal loan programs or repayment plans toward forgiveness. So this includes certain loans and payment plans that were not eligible before. The government's also going to automate the eligibility process, review rejected requests, and give borrowers a way to get errors corrected, and also make it easier for members of the military to get credit toward forgiveness while they serve. Shep. Sharon, how did this get so screwed up in the first place? And, and what are borrowers who may be confused <laughs> supposed to do now? Yeah, it's been a big problem, and consumer advocates and financial experts say that there have been a lot of discrepancies in borrowers' payment accounts. Lawmakers have been accused of making the program too complicated in order to just reduce costs, and the sole student loan servicer responsible for processing payments has also been cited for contributing to all of these problems. There are also some borrowers who, frankly, didn't pay close attention to the details of this complicated program. So now, borrowers need to take advantage of these new changes, and they need to make sure that the Federal Student Aid Office has their accurate contact information. Go to studentaid.gov to register for an FSA ID and to make any updates or any changes to your contact information. Studentaid.gov. Sharon, got it.